Welcome back. Now to some business news and the importance of financial planning. Krishan Mishra, CEO at Financial Planning Standards Board of India, joins us for an interaction on the highlights of their latest study suggesting 80% Indian consumers feel professional financial planning improved their quality of life, as well as the importance of financial planning altogether in day-to-day -day functionality as well as for the long run. Thank you for your time and this interaction. I'd like to begin by asking you, how was the study conducted? So, thank you for asking me this question, uh, Sakshi. Uh, this uh, global research was conducted by my parent organization, Financial Planning Standards Board. Mm -hmm. The organization is based out of Den Denver, Colorado. And what we did is that we did a very quantitative study, wherein we spoke to uh, somewhere around 15,000 people globally, out of which 1,011 respondents were from India. Mm -hmm. These people uh, were above the age of 25 and they were actually having an investable asset of somewhere around 25 lakhs. Besides that report, obviously we have been able to come up with uh, a lot of response and the interesting responses have been there because these people were either advised or unadvised consumers. And uh, the consumers who were advised, they felt more financially secured, they were more satisfied and they felt that yes, they have a better life to lead. Because financial planning is not about only thinking about your own personal goals or financial goals. It is more about creating your life goals and going ahead and achieving them. All right. Could you take us through the sample size and the survey if it was conducted globally or just in India? I know you briefly mentioned this, but many would want to know, was this globally conducted? Yes. Uh, so, Shakshi, uh, we had around 15,000 people who were in the sample across the globe. And as I mentioned to you, there were 1,011 respondents from India. And these people were actually the people who were at the age of 25 and above and with the investable assets of somewhere around 25 lakhs plus. All right. Now the survey says 81 out of 100 women surveyed experienced significant value in financial planning. Could you take us through the details of this outcome and of course your interaction with these women? Thank you so much for asking this question and this is really very important. In fact, uh, the best financial planner I have seen in my life is my own mom. And I have seen women to be great financial planners in their own lives. And uh, what, what happened is, yes, when, when we uh, spoke with these uh, women and we got this uh, research data, what we found is that, yes, if they had interacted with a certified financial planner professional, they were able to understand their own finances pretty well. They were also quite satisfied with the creation of wealth for, for their own families. They were able to simplify their own financial life. Practically, they, they could find that they are more uh, free from the financial burdens and they could control their own finances for the long term. As I mentioned to you, the confidence uh, within the women uh, is much better than the men's across because uh, what we have seen is that men's have been quite stressed and because of whatever is happening across the globe, the job market is quite uh, volatile and the economies across the world have been going through a shaky situation. However, uh, with the support of the women, uh, uh, they have been able to navigate through these difficult times and women have been able to not only look forward to a very reactive mechanism, but they have been able to see it as a wellness for their own family. So they felt that, yes, if I want to be financially secured, I need to look forward to financial wellness. And this is something which is not only true to India, however, this is true to the entire globe wherein we have seen that women have been uh, able to control their financial situations better. Right. All right. I'd like to then ask you, what is your message to those who don't have these kind of funds or the kind of knowledge to see a certified financial planner? Thank you. Thank you for asking me this question. So, uh, Sakshi, practically, when we look at financial planning, it is for everyone. It is not only for the richest. Mm -hmm. And that's a myth that we have been able to bust through this research. What we found is that people, when they start in their careers, so from their first salary only, they should start focusing on the uh, financial planning. Because financial planning, as I mentioned to you, is about creating your life goals and achieving them. Mm -hmm. When we look at a certified financial planner professional, this professional is able to help you navigate all the difficult situations in life in the better way. They are like financial doctors. And this is needed. And I would say this is needed and it becomes a necessity for everyone across the country and across the globe. Uh, why I'm saying this is that because most of us, we create difficult situations for ourselves when we start our careers. So, uh, as I mentioned to you, from our first salary itself, if we start planning for savings, if we start planning for investments and looking forward to creating a retirement corpus for our long term. 
as well as creating corpus for emergency funds, then we will be able to navigate each and every situation really well. Now, the interesting thing about our life is that we will create goals at a particular age. Say, for example, at the age of 20, you create one goal. By the time you th touch 30, you have to look forward to another goal post. And you need the help of a certified financial planner professional there. When you move ahead and touch the age of, say, 40 or 45, you've got different goals. Your goals change. You think about your family. You think about your child education. You think about child marriage and various other things. And then you move ahead and look forward to retiring. And you think about your second innings. Think about your other aspects related to creating that corpus and using that corpus for, corpus for your benefit and also thinking about a legacy that you'll be cre creating for your families when you are not there. So practically, financial, certified financial planner actually becomes your advisor for life and he or she is able to help you navigate all the difficult situations in the right, right way. So you need the right advice from the right person and financial planner is practically a doctor or a financial doctor who can give you the genuine advice, you can trust him because with this qualification, which is quite rigorous in nature, we ensure that we prepare the people towards the understanding of financial planning for not only themselves, but for all their clients. And then they, they go through a very rigorous ethical ethics module also. And that way, practically certified financial planner is your trusted source of advisor. So when it comes to advice, we should not be taking it from everyone. It is really very important for us to take it from a qualified professional, a certified financial planner professional. And that's the reason why we saw that nine out of the 10 people said that, yes, we have been better off because we spoke with the certified financial planner professional and he has been there throughout, uh, throughout our life for us to take care of. So practically, yes, uh, a certified financial planner professional adds a lot of value to you, gives you financial freedom and helps you become a well-qualified professional, not only for your own life, but also for your family and the societies at large. All right, very important message there for those who are not so aware at the moment that don't take advice from everyone, consult a professional. Now, any significant sectors that are a must to invest in? So, uh, as I mentioned to you, Sakshi, uh, the uh, financial planners or the certified financial planner professionals, they practically are like general physicians. They will give you the tools, they will give you the plan to navigate, and wherever needed, they will put you to the right person to take the right direction uh, when it comes to each and every area. They, they are really good at telling you that, okay, which are the areas for investments or the sectors to where you should invest. And they will also tell you that how you can actually go ahead and diversify your risk. So uh, we can definitely do that. However, we normally do not prescribe any kind of products or any kind of instruments which would be uh, clearly specific to an individual's life. However, we can give them a broader guideline in terms of how they can diversify the, the risk, how they can actually look forward to their income growth and wealth creation, how they can actually look forward to their retirement corpus based on their own income, as well as the expenses, as well as uh, the way in which they are looking forward to their goals. So that's something which we uh, can do. However, we do not specifically go ahead and prescribe any product to anyone. All right. Lastly, please take us through your interaction with those who have retired and how financial planning helped them. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, again, Sakshi, for asking this question. Though we will not be able to quantify it right now. However, let me talk about why these people said that they have been better off when they took the advice from the certified financial planner professional. As I mentioned to you, that a certified financial planner professional helps them understand the importance of retirement planning also uh, for their lives. And when we talk about retirement planning, practically it's a very, very complex subject. And people actually wake up at a very late, later age, right? And here, what happened is most of these people, they could connect with a certified financial planner professional at the right time. And they could create that corpus which helped them once they retired. Also, the certified financial planner ensured that the, he or she is able to give them, them the guidance towards looking forward to a second innings. And we have seen it across the world that people who do not actually retire. Retirement doesn't mean that I have touched 60, so everything ends for me. Retirement means that I, I need to look forward to the second innings in my life and look forward to something better to do and leave a very strong legacy later on. And these people were so confident about this that when, when we spoke to them, they said that, yes, I know that I have got the right corpus. I'll be able to navigate my life better going forward. And till the time I'm alive, this money is going to help me. And although they understood one more thing that this money is going to grow for them, it will not uh, stop anywhere. 
The other thing is that they were able to focus upon creating that legacy and inheritance for their near and dear ones when they are not there. And uh, that also helped them get that confidence that, yes, if I'm not there, then also my family would be able to neg navigate themselves in, in, and their lives better. So practically, yes, people either retired or who are looking forward to retirement should definitely go ahead and talk to the certified financial planner. However, they should not wait for them to get retired and then talk to them. It, it is really advisable that we should start early, as early as possible, because when we start early, what happens is, uh, so for example, if you want to buy a retirement plan from an insurance company or anyone, when you are 22, 23, you get a lower premium, right? Because uh, the chances of uh, you paying higher premiums are pretty low and you get a like, larger coverage also. However, when you look forward to buying an insurance or a retirement plan at the age of 45, 50 or beyond that, what happens is uh, the, either the insurance company might say that, sorry, I can't cover you because you have got these, these health issues. Uh, the other option can be that they might say that, okay, I'll charge you double of the premium because obviously these, because of these health issues, you are a critical uh, customer for us. So to avoid such situations, it is advisable that people should start early for their retirement uh, planning and uh, a certified financial planner professional can actually help them navigate their re retirement goals quite well. And the report very clearly says that, yes, their satisfaction levels, the confidence and the way in which they feel that they are financially uh, able to achieve the financial freedom for themselves is something which very, very phenomenal. I, and I think this report needs to be uh, read by everyone across this country. Yeah. All right, some very important messages on the importance of financial planning and life goals, essentially. Thank you for your time and this interaction.